At the top of the newscast, we showed you an SUV where a driver backed up then pulled directly into a cigar shop. The driver surrendered to police. WRO's Carly Haynes is live at Virgin Cigars after speaking with a woman who saw it happen and then called 911. Carly? <laughs> Gerald, despite it all, they are still open for business, though their glass doors are now temporarily made out of wood. They did capture the whole thing on camera, and fortunately, there were no serious injuries. You see headlights just outside the door, then they get closer. A driver plows into this Raleigh cigar shop. I'm hearing this really like crash, right? So I'm thinking it was out here in the highway, but the whole building shook like a mini earthquake. Yvette Holder works next door to Virgin Cigars. She saw everything, including the car pulling out and driving away. But he just went around with the front door stuck on the front of his car. The big question for the store's owners, why? But then they saw what happened earlier in their security video. The man tries the doors and finds they're locked. I think it was mad because it was closed or whatever. The driver eventually turned himself in. 53-year-old Michael Radon is charged with a hit and run, reckless driving and property damage after getting minor cuts from the impact. Though the store still has scars, tire marks and rips on their floors and a wall. Both will need replacing, which could be tens of thousands of dollars. I feel sorry for them because, you know, um, and I feel sorry for the, for the family. You know, I really do, because people make mistakes, you know. And the suspect will be appearing in court in September. And the witness says this area is usually calm and a great place to do business. Carly Haynes, WRL News, live in Raleigh.